Hi everyone. Okay, so there's been a lot of chatter about the Nexus 5 camera, and you know, I've said my own two cents worth about it, as it were, that um, realistically, the camera isn't a problem so much as the setup, setup that Google provided uh, as default the Nexus 5. It needs a bit of tweaking. Now, brilliantly, as always, the guys over at the XDA Developers Forums have been beavering away, and they've already produced a patch which in my opinion, radically improves the quality of the Nexus 5 camera. It adds more sharpness, it increases the bitrate of images and videos, and also increases the lock-on uh, for the autofocus as well. It locks on much faster than it used to. Now, later on today, I will be taking another round of pictures um, and I will upload those onto our Google Plus page so you can have a look at them. But for now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to apply this patch. Now, first thing you need to make sure is that your Nexus 5 is rooted and has a recovery, uh, a custom recovery on there. Uh, I think there is only one custom recovery at the moment, which is touch recovery. Um, routing, not something we go through on this channel. There are plenty of videos out there about how to do it. And also on the XDA forum, there's a couple of simple routing methods if you want them, or you can go down the more complex ADB and Fastboot route. So the first thing we need to do is we have to make sure we downloaded this updated uh, package from uh, the XDA developers. Have a look in the comments, check the annotation, there's a link there, go and get the download. Now put the download onto your Nexus 5 and reboot into your touch recovery. So I'm just going to quickly use ROM toolbox to get into there. So reboot into recovery. If you're rooted and you don't have ROM toolbox, you really do need it, it's fantastic. Very, very quick and easy to make lots and lots of changes um, that only require root access and saves you having to have lots and lots of different apps to do this stuff. Now, once you're into um, Touch Recovery or Team Win Recovery project, go into Install. You need to find where you put the file. Now, if you downloaded it via your handset, it'll be in your Downloads file. Select. And then what it's basically going to do is it's going to flash this uh, update onto the device, replacing the previous settings for the camera. Bear in mind, routing, flashing and things like that does tend to have an impact on your warranty. Don't do this if you're not completely confident of how you would then fix your device should something go wrong like a boot loop. Now, check and make sure that everything is correct. It is the correct file, for instance. You don't want to be flashing something random. It is called the Nexus 5 Cam Fix. If you want to, you can add more zips at this point if you've got other things you want to flash at the same time, but my personal feeling is only ever flash one file at a time. So, to flash it, we, flash, we uh, scroll that across, and that's it done. It's a blink and you'll miss it. So, once the update is installed, and you can check zip install complete at the top, and there's a log out at the bottom there just letting you know exactly what it's done, you can then just reboot the system. And that's it, you're done. So now when you go to use your uh, Nexus 5 camera, you will find that the images are much sharper. The sharpness has been changed from a value of 70 to a value of 90. So that's nearly, I think, what, a 23% increase in the sharpness of the images. And the bit rate has been increased as well, uh, right, by around uh, seven or eight megabits, uh, I think it is. If that's the correct, is it megabits? I think it is megabits. But my point is this, what Google provided to us out of the box is not optimal for the camera. The settings can be improved quite a bit. Maybe Google will patch that for all handsets coming up in the next update perhaps, or if you need to, you can just go and flash this zip on from the XDA developers and you will fix your camera quite nicely. In the tests I've done, I found that the uh, speed at which it locks on is greatly improved and the accuracy is a lot better as well. Generally, if you've got a faster lock on with the autofocus, you're going to have more good quality pictures than you are bad, or you know, less time fapping around. The higher bit rate does make a bit of a difference. It's not a massive difference, but it's an appreciable difference. And the, personally, I think this is closer to where the Nexus 5 camera software should be. Yeah.